Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. In this video, I want to talk about the consolidation or reverse split for SafeMoon. We do have an article now on the SafeMoon educational page that came out to try and give us more clarity on what the difference is between a reverse split and a token consolidation. I want to go through everything and I also want to go and give you guys examples of companies who have actually performed reverse splits and have done well afterwards and I want to give you guys more information on what I think about this article. So just before we do that, we see SafeMoon right now is at 1214 and if we take a look at the price chart again we are still on that ski hill with this beginner ski hill we're just going down we are still waiting for this safe moon wallet on ios it is eventually coming they are still waiting for the approval of this third party company who is basically has the wallet in their hands and i don't know what they're doing they are obviously just taking their time and going through the right steps in order to get the safe moon wallet out to us but of course we are just waiting and we're seeing the impacts of the price of safe moon right now nothing much is happening and we're seeing the price kind of reflect that but let's go ahead and talk about what we see here on safemoon.education this is the page that cats r us actually provides to us and he does a fantastic job trying to explain to us what the difference is between safe moon consolidation and safe moon reverse split and there is a lot of information on this website so i definitely do recommend you guys looking at this but i want to go through and point point out a few things that I don't necessarily agree or like with this page and it kind of dumbs it down to a certain degree. Now, I do want to say before we get into this that I am a SafeMoon holder. I want to see SafeMoon succeed. I've invested about $1,500 into SafeMoon. So yes, I do want to see SafeMoon succeed. Yes, I am still holding. I'm not planning on selling, but I just want to give you guys my thoughts on this article and the way I see things. And again, you guys don't have to agree with me, but let's get right into it here. So first of all, he is assuming a one to 1000 ratio, which basically means that the amount of tokens would decrease by a thousand and the price of SafeMoon would then increase by a thousand. That is what we know as consolidation or a reverse split. And with this example, he's saying that one trillion token would be equal to $1,000. And of course, if we have that reverse split or this consolidation, we would have our V2 contract. Then you can see that it's now 575 billion tokens. As you can see, it got divided by a thousand here. And of course, the balance also got divided by a thousand. But you can see that the price stays the same because the circulating amount is less, meaning that your price has also been increased by the same factor. So let's go ahead and talk about how they present the consolidation versus reverse split and why this is done and what is the difference between the two. So they say that consolidation is done for the good of the project to continue growth and help the project reach the goals that they have set out. So that's the consolidation part. And then a reverse split, how they try to differentiate the two. They say that a reverse split is done when a company is about to get delisted from a major exchange such as the NASDAQ and they want to bump the price so that they don't get delisted. Now, yes, that is absolutely one reason for a company to go ahead and do a reverse split. I have been a part of many investments where companies do decide to do a reverse split. But in my opinion, there's also another big factor that they don't mention here for a reverse split or a consolidation, which again, in my opinion, the the two are very, very similar. You are trying to do a reverse split or a consolidation to then boost the price of your assets. And you are trying to reduce the amount of tokens or, or shares that are outstanding in the public to then make your company stand out more. So before we continue on this page, I want to go on to Investopedia. And of course, this is one of the reasons why a stock would perform a reverse split. We can see right here, it says prevent from being delisted from an exchange. And that's exactly what they have on the SafeMoon website there on the SafeMoon.education. But some other reasons they don't mention on this website is to boost the company's image if the stock price has dropped dramatically. So this is kind of what I was mentioning because yeah, SafeMoon has 0.0000012 or 
whatever how many zeros there are and of course depending on the factor they do decide it is going to eliminate some zeros now we can see here that if you eliminate zeros and for your average person that doesn't actually understand what's going on they're gonna see wow well you know what a safe moon is now only at 0 0.0001 instead of zero and then bunch of zeros one two right so people are gonna be like oh my god it's closer to one cent we're going to make so much money because it's gonna get to one cent faster but you have to understand that yes it's it may get to one cent faster but you have to understand that this one cent price target is not going to be the same after this consolidation or reverse split so that one cent after the reverse split is maybe going to be ten dollars and that's why you have to understand it in terms of percentages and not an actual dollar figure so that is another reason why companies do decide to do reverse splits and could potentially be another reason why SafeMoon wants to do a reverse split to obviously decrease the amount of supply that is currently out for SafeMoon and of course increase the price of one single token. Now, another reason is to draw more attention from analysts and influential investors. And of course, if you have a higher priced token or a higher priced stock, it is going to attract more people. And that's exactly what I was saying earlier, is that if you have 0.0001 safe moon per token versus 0.0000000 and you can't even count all of the zeros, well, of course, it's going to attract more people if you have a higher price and less tokens. But of course, it is very very important to understand that this is not going to affect the amount or your value of SafeMoon. Yes, you are going to have less shares or less tokens, but in the end, the price is going to be higher. So the value of your investment is not going to change. And that is something that you need to understand. So just before we get back to that SafeMoon education page, I just wanted to give you guys a few examples of companies who have done this in the past. And these are not cryptocurrencies. These are more your brick and mortar type of companies. So we can see that FTR or Frontier Communications actually did a 1 to 15 reverse split, basically meaning that each 15 shares now becomes one share. And of course, they do the same with that price. So every single share of Frontier would have been multiplied by 15, thus increasing the price and reducing the amount of shares. And we can see that the problem that the reverse splits rarely work out because reeling companies typically keep sliding. And that was the case for Frontier Communications. But if we go on to some actual stocks that have bounced back from a reverse split, we can see that Priceline.com actually did a one to six reverse split in 2013. And right now you can see that Priceline has since become an 85 bagger. So not a bad haul over the past 14 years. So this company was successful after a reverse split. Then we see that Citigroup did the same thing. They did a one to 10 reverse split and it actually has risen 69% since then. And lastly, here we have this company who did a 1 to 20 reverse split and now is up about 42%. So it's not only bad, I just want to let you guys know what is actually happening. And, P and companies who have done this in the past don't always fail, but it is definitely a negative connotation. So if we go back to education, we can see that they say generally reverse splits happen when a company is about to get delisted. So basically the same thing we have in this table and in DeFi consolidations are kind of the same concept so you can see right now right in front of you it literally says it is kind of the same concept but in my opinion it definitely is the same concept but it is done for a different reason or different reasons the general consensus is that it will actually be good for investors and I'd like to take a moment to give you a quick and intuitive rundown as to what it is and what it means so then we see it says consider DeFi consolidation and reverse splits as chocolate bars on the inside they are both chocolate however they are different on the outside outside being the reason as to why they are used and if we continue on reading here it says when they consolidate they are going to take zeros away by decreasing the supply in this example we are going to assume a, a thousand to one ratio and as i've said this is what they're using for that example we had previously discussed but 
we can just see here that they are kind of dumbing it down. I'm not too sure if this is because they know that the company wants us to or wants SafeMoon to take away zeros and they literally just say they are going to take zeros away. And people are going to say, oh my God, this is great because SafeMoon's price is going to go higher, but the amount of tokens you have is also going to be a lot lower. So let's continue on here. The amount of dollars worth of SafeMoon in your bag, whether 1K or 100K dollars worth of SafeMoon will be worth the same that we know. You are not losing or gaining purchasing power next to your preferred currency or fiat. They are literally just tidying up the numbers and whatever is in your bag, the amount in dollars will be the same. Only now the price of each SafeMoon will be worth a thousand more for each token so you'll have fewer tokens and the value of all holdings will be all the same so of course then they say if you own a 0.002 percent of safe moon today you're going to be owning the same amount after this migration or after this consolidation or after this reverse split so in my opinion i'm not too sure if i'm the only one thinking like this and again i'm not bashing anyone here i'm not bashing safe moon i am literally invested in safe moon and i want this company to succeed and i really do think it will succeed but but in my opinion, they are targeting some very key words here, such as take zeros away. And as we know, we've been trying to take zeros away from the SafeMoon price for a very long time. And they are basically advertising this consolidation as them taking zeros away or tidying up the numbers. And in my opinion, it shouldn't be said like this because again, we are basically seeing the same thing as a reverse split. And if we go back to the root definition that they gave us for both consolidation and reverse split, they are saying that a reverse split only happens when a company is about to get delisted from a major exchange such as the Nasdaq. But if you really think about it, if a company was to get delisted from the Nasdaq, they do a reverse split and they stay on the Nasdaq. This is also done for the good of the project or the company, which is basically their definition of consolidation and to continue to grow and help the project reach the goals that they've set out. So if a company does that as a reverse split, they are going to stay on the NASDAQ. Is it not for the better of the company or for the good of the project to continue to grow? So in my opinion, it is the exact same thing. A reverse split just has a negative connotation to it. And that is in my opinion, why they want to use consolidation. Of course, I want to see SafeMoon succeed. And I just want to make sure you guys are aware of what's happening because they are targeting keywords such as taking zeros away and tidying up the numbers. But again, you just have to understand that yes they may be taking away zeros from the safe moon price but you are also going to have less tokens if this does become a thing so with all that being said if you guys have any comments or if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below again i am not bashing safe moon i'm not bashing anyone who's on the team i am an investor and i want to see this project succeed i just think that they could have communicated this with us in a better way and not try to basically differentiate consolidation and reverse split when in my opinion it is the same thing so with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching i am still a safe moon holder and i am not going to sell i put a certain amount of money that i was comfortable losing and if safe moon goes down to zero i'm going down with it and that is all i want to say so thank you guys so much for watching smash the like button if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace